Hi, this is Realtor Mike Thomas coming to you from Palm Beach, Florida uh, with a real estate news update. It is October 2022 and everybody's wondering, oh my God, is this real estate market going to crash? What is going on? So I have your real estate market news update. So normally the weird thing is market real estate market crashes on um, Halloween. Weirdest thing. I don't know why. I've done some research on it and I'm thinking, oh my God, uh, Halloween markets crash. Don't know why. It's kind of weird. Maybe it won't happen this year. Um, who knows? But um, I don't see the market crashing in the next few days. So I'm going to give it a no. Although some markets are plateauing, and I'm going to get into that, so stay tuned to the end of the video because there's some really good information there um, about what's going on in the marketplace right now uh, in real estate. So let's get to it. I've got um, I've got a couple of things on my screen. This is Forbes Advisor, and um, people are asking in 2022, will the real estate market crash? There are several different things that actually caused the real estate market to crash in 2008. And that is, is they were giving loans to people that weren't deserving of the loans. That was number one. So they were putting them in what they call adjustable rate mortgages. Basically what that means is I'm gonna give you a loan based on the super low interest rate that I'm gonna give you. And then in the next four to five years, I'm gonna raise your interest rate so high you probably won't be able to afford it. And that's what happened. So if you look at the real estate crash of 2007, 2008, five years prior to that, they were doing a lot of these adjustable rate mortgages. Uh, some countries just basically banded them and said, we're not doing that. That's crazy. You're out of your mind. So what happened? The real estate uh, people were buying houses, really couldn't afford minimum down payments. Uh, super low interest rates, three, four, five years later, uh, couldn't afford the payments anymore. And that's what was a major contributor to the market crash. Now, right now we have some low interest rates still. Uh, historically speaking, interest rates are still at an all time low. Uh, once they get up about eight, nine, 10%, um, then they're not low, they're average. Anything over 10% is high. Anything um, less than 8%, I consider to be low. And right now, interest rates are still low. The feds are just trying to stabilize the economy. If they don't raise the interest rate from super low rates that everybody's gotten used to, what's going to happen is real estate prices are going to go way high. Everything's going to be a million dollars for a house and nobody can afford that. So by raising the interest rates, they're trying to put a cap on the real estate market, trying to plateau it. So are we going to crash? Um, well, there's several factors about a real estate market crashing and it's normally about how many homes are on the market for sale, what's selling, what's the supply, what's the demand. Here in South Florida, where I live, Palm Beach County, Florida, uh, the demand for real estate is still there. Other counties may not be. So we have predictions from uh, other places uh, around here. Is the mortgage interest rate the only factor that contribute to this? Absolutely not. There are more than just the interest rate that affect, affect the market crash. Uh, one of the main things I look for is land values. So real estate is actually land. And when you put a house on top of the land, that's called an improvement. You add a swimming pool to the land, that's an improvement. Um, you add a garage to the house, uh, that's an improvement. Anything that you do to that house is considered an improvement, whether that's solar panels, whether that's... Um, a well that you add to the house, whatever it may be, it is all considered an improvement. So with that said, look at the land values in your area. Real estate is very localized. Certain real estates around the country um, are different than others. 
here in Florida, we have a subtropical climate. We're right in line with the Bahamas, 55 miles to the east of us. We have Grand Bahama Island. We're in a very tropical climate here in Florida. It's a very high desired area where other places may not be high desired places. Uh, so the question is, is people have to live somewhere. So where are they moving out of and where are they going to? Which is a supply and demand issue. If they're moving out of a certain state or out of a certain city, county or whatever, and they're moving to uh, a certain area, which I call you know, real estate migration, where are people coming from? Where are they going to? And that migration is what causes supply and demand. Uh, we had a lot of people in the last two years coming down to uh, Florida to buy homes. And so we had a huge influx. But what caused that influx? It was this. When COVID came in 2019, at the end of 2019, which was December, there weren't a lot of sales going on in 2020 uh, in real estate. So all those people that didn't buy in 2020 that wanted to buy in 2020 ended up buying a year or two later. Well, the people that wanted to buy in 2021 that didn't buy in 2021 all ended up starting to, to buy all in 2021, 2022, if that makes sense to you. I'll give you a better example. Let's say there were a thousand people that wanted to buy in 2020, but didn't or couldn't because of COVID-19. They were locked down. They had, um, they couldn't go anywhere. Um, you couldn't spend your money anywhere. You couldn't go on vacation. You couldn't go out to the restaurants to eat. You couldn't do anything. You were sitting at home. And so what did you do? You worked from home. Well, if you were working from home and you can't spend any money going out to eat, going on vacations, going to places that you love to do, what, where did you spend your money in? In your house. So people started to upgrade their homes, their kitchen, their floorings, their bathrooms. All of the homes that I showed here in Florida prior to COVID were pretty much outdated. After COVID, pretty much all upgraded. Um, now there are some homes that are still outdated and things like that, and they didn't touch it for whatever reason. I don't know. Those are the kind of things that I look for. Now, whether the market is crashing or not, whether we're in a bubble or not, there are some home prices that are being, um, here, let me move my video down. Um, there are some home markets that are coming down, that are stabilizing. And it is from those areas where people are moving from. Where are people moving out of? Well, if there's a lot of exiting out of a certain city, county, state, and a lot of immigration moving to a certain city, county, or state, then that's going to affect the real estate markets in that area. Um, and that happens no matter where you go. Right now, I believe that uh, the United States is still a very affordable place to live out of first world countries. We have all the amenities, all the you know, the infrastructures, the restaurants, all those great, wonderful places out of all the first world countries like Japan and China and, and uh, Germany and, you know, the European countries and the Asian countries. Um, we are still uh, very affordable pricing here in the United States. With that being said, um, will the market crash? Are these predictions coming? Well, according to the Florida Association of Realtors, and how they predict that the route, the markets here, um, you're starting to reach a certain plateau and it's all about what buyers are willing or, or able to pay. Uh, some buyers are willing to pay a lot more than they actually have or that they qualify for. So that's a, another question. The buying power is also diminished with a higher interest rate. For example, if you were able to buy a home for $500,000 at a 3% interest rate, at a 5% interest rate, maybe you're only able to pay or buy a $450,000 house. So your buying powers diminishes with a higher interest rate. Are you still able to buy? Yes. Are you able to buy 
a more expensive home? And the answer is not with a rising interest rate unless you are earning more money or you add another co-signer to the deed uh, or to the mortgage um, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of creative ways of doing that. And in, here in South Florida, uh, the Thomas team of Premier Brokers International, which is the company that I work for, I am the team leader, uh, we come up with creative ideas to put people in homes that they want to be in. Right now, we have a great rent-to-own program uh, with equity, which is a wonderful program as well. We're going to talk about that in the next video. But is the real estate market crashing? No. Is it slowing down? Eh, yeah, but you can't go 100 miles an hour forever. You're going to have to take your foot off the gas um, eventually. And when that happens, it's going to slow down. Are we braking? No, we're not braking. Uh, the brakes are not on in the real estate market. So my prediction for 2022 is the real estate market crashing is no. Uh, but here's the crazy thing, too. We are in a midterm election year. When there's an election going on, real estate kind of has a little, some quirks to it, as I'm going to call it. And the reason for that is, is everybody always wants to do, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see who's going to be elected in the office. Let's wait and see who's going to win this district. Uh, let's see which political party is going to have you know, more results. Honestly, I've been in real estate for 30 years come January, and that never mattered. Didn't matter whether a political party was stronger than another. It didn't matter whether uh, who won the presidency. Uh, people need a place to live. It is one of the basic necessities of life. And even though that people want to wait and see, in the end, doesn't really matter. And that is my opinion of real estate here in South Florida. I've been a realtor for nearly 30 years and uh, this market is not crashing. Okay, here's, the, uh, here's where I start begging for comments and likes and, and subscribers and all this thing. So please subscribe, leave your comments. <laughs> If you love us, show us the love, give us a thumbs up, okay? I um, hope this information helped you out and I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos uh, over time. So uh, please stay tuned and click the notification bell, okay?